the artificial intelligence industry is facing its biggest threat. It's called AI hallucinations. This is the story of a single weakness that could cost AI its early death. Here is the problem. Let's imagine that there is a brand new artificial intelligence that can cure any disease in existence. But once in a while, it suggests a completely wrong cure that can kill the patient. Since the cures are ahead of their time, no one can understand how they work. So the only option is to try them out. The question is, would you sign up for such a cure? Probably not. And this is the dilemma. In order for AI companies to survive and justify the insane amount of money that is used to train these models, AI needs to be able to solve high-value, high-stakes problems like curing diseases and solving climate change. But it needs to do them reliably and independently. Because if a human has to verify and understand every solution given by an AI system, it is only as fast as that human. And humans are quite slow. It costed around $100 million to train one of the most famous AI models, GPT-4. According to one estimate, in order to respond to roughly 200 million requests a day, ChatGPT consumes around half a million kilowatt hours of energy. That is roughly 17,000 times the energy consumed by an average household. All of this so people can write better emails and college assignments. From mid-journey, generating photorealistic images to Sora creating unbelievably realistic videos, what you would always find is that the real-life usage of these systems somehow always seem to fall behind the true capabilities that are promised in demos. The common denominator in all these cases is us, humans. No matter how sophisticated the AI is, there is always a human needed to operate it. A human who is writing a prompt and then analyzing the results before releasing them into the real world. This is fine for simple tasks like generating images for TikTok videos or writing emails, simply because it is easy to review an image or an email. But consider a high complexity task like writing software. Today's AI models are completely capable of doing so, but they need a human to review the code that they generate. And this is because AI hallucinates. Sometimes, please. It sometimes dreams up imaginary solutions that are detached from reality. In other words, it makes up incorrect information once in a while. This once in a while is preventing these systems from fully taking over human jobs. If a human has to vet and understand the output of an AI system, the true value of such systems starts to diminish as the tasks become more and more complex. So why exactly does artificial intelligence hallucinate? There is a common misconception that generative AI systems are somehow understanding our world as we do. It's because they are so good at creating an illusion around it. But in very simplistic terms, generative AI systems are just sophisticated autocomplete softwares. They are predicting the output of a prompt based on some probabilities that they learn from the data that they were trained on. Kind of like the search bars on websites. In such systems, it is very hard to make sure that the results are always accurate because they are a reflection of the data that was used to train them. But wait, can't we just make sure that the data used to train these AI models is accurate? This is the second problem. In order to train these models, you need an insane amount of data, which mostly comes by scraping the internet. And not only is the internet often inaccurate, but we also have started pumping more and more AI-generated data into it. So we are in this strange loop where it's becoming hard not only for us, but also for AI to distinguish real versus AI-generated content on the internet. And this is how AI might cause its own extinction. There is a lot of money being poured into modern AI systems and a lot of smart people working on solving the problems of AI hallucinations. So most likely we would get around it. But if we don't, 
it either means an early death of AI or handing our fate into systems that sometimes make fatal mistakes. Oops. If you like my content, then please drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.